Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and today we will uh, practice SN1 and SN2 mechanisms. Uh, let's first start with this example where we have this alkyl halide. This alkyl halide, as you can see in here, it's a second degree alkyl halide and the nucleophile, it's the methoxide, which means it's a strong nucleophile from the fact that it's negatively charged here. So which mechanism this would be? Uh, if you watch my previous video on predicting the mechanism, whether it's SN1 or SN2, uh, you can see that we have a second degree here with a strong nucleophile. Therefore, this is going to be an SN2 mechanism. So for this one, the lone pair therefore on the oxygen for from the methoxide uh, will be the rich site and the nucleophilic site from the methoxide so what is going to happen the methoxide will attack from the back side of the br so will attack the second degree carbon and therefore the br will leave so as you remember, the SN2 mechanism uh, is the bond forming and bond breaking happens at the same time. Therefore, the product in this case will be the following. So now, when the methoxide attacks the carbon here it will push the hydrogen to the front side so now I should draw the wedge bond where I can put the hydrogen and since this is a backside attack the methoxy therefore is going to be on the dashed uh, bond and therefore I have OCH3 in here now looking at the configuration I can say here that I have one for the priority this carbon would be two and this methyl would be three and the hydrogen will be four so one two three four I'm going clockwise and therefore this is R however here I can see that this is priority number one that's priority number two the methyl here priority number three and the hydrogen is priority number four. Now you can see in here that number four priority is not facing to backward therefore I have to switch the places for methoxide and the hydrogen and therefore the one will come here and the four will come here so therefore I have one two three so I'm going clockwise but because I switched places between the least priority and the highest priority or the group facing backward therefore the R will be S and as you remember for an SN2 mechanism I have an inversion of configuration so the alkyl halide here has an R stereochemistry however the product it will have an S stereochemistry now of course here we should not forget that we also have the BR minus in the product side. Let's discuss another example where you can see here that the alkyl halide is also a second degree alkyl halide. However, the nucleophile is the methanol and this is a neutral nucleophile and therefore this is going to be a weak nucleophile. Remember always that charged nucleophiles are always stronger than neutral nucleophiles now where is the rich site in methanol the rich site is the lone pairs on oxygen however remember now when we have a second degree and a weak nucleophile this means that we have an SN1 mechanism for an SN1 mechanism the bond breaking happens first and later on the bond forming follows and therefore in the first step I will have 
heterolytic cleavage of the carbon iodide bond to form the carbocation. So therefore here I have to draw the carbocation that I will obtain in the first step. Now remember that the carbocation has an sp2 hybridization and therefore all bonds will be in the same plane since the uh, geometry of the carbocation is trigonal planar. Now in this case since I have planar molecule so the nucleophile has the option to attack from the above side or from the below side and therefore I can have an attack from this side or I can have an attack from this side and this is going to give me a mixture of products and remember for an SN1 mechanism I have a racemization so what is going to happen in this case I have to draw two products where if the uh, nucleophile attacks from above and therefore I have the nucleophile facing backward so the methyl will be facing forward and the nucleophile facing backward now remember that uh, it's not similar to the case of methoxide because here the oxygen already has two bonds and therefore when it forms a bond with the carbocation it will be forming three bonds through sharing one of its lone pairs and therefore oxygen will have only one lone pair and a positive charge and the second product will be the attack from below and I draw it like this so in this case now the nucleophile is facing forward so I will put here the nucleophile don't forget the positive charge on the oxygen and the methyl now is facing backward now of course remember from the cleavage of the CI bond of course here I should produce I minus now the I minus in this case will come and since it's in the neighborhood of these products and will just take the hydrogen in here and therefore the electrons making the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen will form a second lone pair on the oxygen for this positive charge to disappear in a similar way I have another iodide that will come and take the hydrogen on this molecule here and therefore also I have the electrons from this bond will come to form another lone pair on the oxygen the final mixture of products will be then C CH2 CH3 and I have hydrogen here in this case I have the methyl facing forward and now since this hydrogen is gone I'm going to get the methoxy in here in a similar way I can draw the second product where I have CH2 CH3 H now the methoxy is facing forward in this case and the methyl is facing backward let's take a look on the configuration now so for the alkyl halide I can see that iodide will get the priority number one ethyl gets the priority number two methyl number three and hydrogen number four now here I can see that the highest priority is facing backward and the lowest priority in the plane I have to switch the places of these two groups and therefore the one will be on this side and I will have one two three which means clockwise but since I have switched the places of these two groups this is going to be an S let's take a look on the stereochemistry of these two products 
here I have the methoxy will get priority number one, ethyl priority number two, and methyl priority number three, and hydrogen gets the priority number four. Here I have a similar case to the case of the alkyl halide, and therefore I have to switch the places of these two groups, and the one will be on this side, and therefore I have one, two, three, so this is clockwise, but since I switched the places, this is going to be an S. Looking at this example here, the methoxy gets number one, ethyl two, methyl three, and the hydrogen four, now, in here, the lowest priority is, is in the plane as well, and therefore I have to switch it with the priority number 3, which means the methyl, and therefore the methyl will come to this side. So I will have 1, 2, 3, so this is counterclockwise, but because I switched the places of these two groups, this is going to be an R. And therefore, this is what we call racemization because I have equal chances of the R and S products to form. And in this case, I will get an equal ratio, which means 50% of S and 50% of R. And there is, here you can see the major difference between an S and 2 mechanism where I get only one product that's resulting from the inversion of configuration. However, SN1, it leads to two products, which we call it racemization mixture. Now, a very important note, usually students, they forget this step, which is a crucial step. So you should remember that the first attack will lead to a positive charge on oxygen, and then in a second step, the base, which is here the I minus, will take this hydrogen to form the neutral OCH3.